there's a there's a regulation um, or standard regulation called ECE R90. Obviously, you're familiar with it. I'm actually not. I mean, I've heard of it vaguely yeah. familiar, but I I don't really know a whole lot about it. I mean, obviously, I know it's either like a quality or safety type standard. So, please educate me a little bit about like what like what this is, and I guess how does it affect you, your job, or like your company as you I guess launch products. Yeah. All right. So, do you have enough time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all day. Although I may run out of coffee, but you know. <laughs> okay, that's good. So make sure you don't run out of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So the the ECE in general, um, this is a um, some kind of compliance. It is a frame um, about rules and regulations, um, safety rules and regulations um, for. Um, yeah, not only for spare parts, let's say for, for mainly automotive um, component parts. Okay. And um, there are many, many different um, yeah, requirements for, for, for the parts. Um, if we talk about I don't know, headlights or, or bumpers or brakes in this case. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to fulfill um, a lot of different requirements. Okay. And, um, when it comes to, to, to brake pads and uh, brake discs, so we talk about the regulation number 90. Okay. For specific. And um, this regulation um, for brake pads, for example, um, it requires from us um, that, we, that we have a um, limited window um, where we, for example, have to be with our friction value um, of the brake pads. So we cannot exceed, um, let's say, the, the top limit line, and we cannot under exceed um, the lower limit line. I got it. And um, so this is um, all the safety requirement to make sure that even the aftermarket brake pad, uh, which may not be the original one, um, is performing on a certain level um, so that even the customer who's buying the brake pad um, can be sure, all right, this is a good and approved and a tested product. And um, yeah. Got it. So how, did, how do you know, like, how do you verify that it's, that it passes. I mean, is there like an audit system they come in and say, "Hey, you're doing these, yeah, you know, these systems in place to make sure that it's done," or is it more yeah. of a testing thing? You test it, it's good. You stamp it or whatever. I mean, how, how do you? I guess how do you verify? Yeah. So there are independent agencies. Um, they are working together with uh, government authorities, and um, these independent agencies they are going out in the world. Um, they audit all the different um, factories, not only ours, mm. and um, after that, um, they have their own dynos. Um, they do a lot of testings on the dyno, on the street. Um, they, look, they have a look on all these different um, test values. And um, they gave the green or the red light uh, to the uh, government authorities. Mm. And um, if they say, all right, this brake pad is OK, it works well, it performs on, on the level we want to see, um, then you get a certification, a certificate. And this is unique for every single brake pad reference. Oh, wow. Okay. So when you launch a new part number for, mm -hmm. you know, say it's a new late model vehicle or whatever, and you launch a new aftermarket part number, you, it's got to go through all that. Then that individual part right. number pad has to be certified or. Right. Okay. Wow. Exactly. And is the R90, so is that just for pads or like, does it also like for rotors, calipers, or is it, or is it different? Um, it also counts for, for brake rotors um, since November 2016. So um, for brake pads, it's valid since the 1990s. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. And for brake, pad, for brake discs, for brake rotors, it came very late. Um, for us, it was a little bit surprising because mm -hmm. we were asking ourselves, hey, we have the pads here, but the disc is also very important. Mm -hmm. um, so since November 2016, it took place. And um, the requirements are a little bit different, yeah. Um, but there we talk about like um, how resistant are they to heat, for example. Got it. Yeah. So to okay. make sure the brakes will not break. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So.